Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Baxter Place and today we're going to be looking at finish off a couple of the jetties and then over in the background as you can see just there that is the basic outline that I've done on the overall general height of the lighthouse we're going to be building so with that said, go on with a couple of jetties don't forget if you like what you see, if you could hit that uh, like and subscribe button it, really does help me out a great deal and if you've got any comments as to what you'd like to see or anything please don't hesitate to just uh, mention it and ask in the comments down below and we will see what we can do all right so let's start with getting these on oh that's not face is it what a surprise and that one all right so we're gonna have this one come up and then wrap around and join this one there's one over that side that needs done as well and then we can look at potentially getting on with the lighthouse which take me a little while to decide on the lighthouse I'm still not entirely sold on the design at the moment but it might grow on me if it doesn't well just change it at a later date no big deal let's uh, quickly go for a sleep bed left over here Uh, that's that done. Uh, back over here. Where are we? This one. Crash landing. And pop around and do the other one. Over here. And then that's the jetty's done. Alright. Uh, let's. Bring this one out by two. We don't want it to encroach too much. Apparently, I might have to take a bit of that out. It doesn't look like it's taking up too much space then. Uh, at the moment I'm a bit uh can't quite decide should we say as to what other buildings I need I want to put up on this dock area. I just can't decide at the moment with everything go, going on I just haven't had the chance to give it a proper think about it at the moment. We'll get there and like I said if anyone's got any suggestions as to what what they'd like to see there Please just leave a comment down below and we'll get something up. Right. That'll do for this one for now. Yeah, that'll do for now. Probably end up changing it again at some point, but let's have it. Right. Yeah, I think we need to take out some of this and extend that bit. Okay, but Right, what else we got? One looks alright. No rule, they don't seem too bad for now. Right. Let's just quickly land up here. Mm. Ah, crash landing, close enough. I'll right, pop up here. Right. If I've got my measurements right, this platform size here, get rid of those, don't really want them. Want bones, uh, uh, keep them for now. It is going to be where the working light goes, rotate round. I'm going to automate it with a daylight sensor as well. It comes on at night and then goes off during the day, like all our other lights. So, down and grab some materials. So let's, I think we'll start with a light and then build up the sides. All right, see what we have here. Um, hmm. All right, with that said, let's get on with the light section.
Okay people, while building up the skeletal frame of the building I've just realised I hadn't actually hit the record button. So with that said, this is what we've got so far. Um, so in the form of a time lapse we'll just quickly finish off the building and then I'll see you then. And there we have the main bulk of the build done. Now we just got to do some finishing touches, a bit of terraforming. Uh, what else we got? A bit of landscaping and a few cosmetic details. We're back now. So there it is, people. One working lighthouse. So what do you think? Don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Here we go have a little look around it. Let's find out where's me uh, rockets gone. Uh, Oh, oh, there they are. All right, let's go have a little look. Right over this way. The equation added, I don't know if you just noticed there, we added a little dock around the back for it. Uh, where are we? Around here, and then you can see a little bit of decoration, pop inside. Not too much done on the inside at the moment. A couple of lamps, a few bits and pieces. There we go. I'll show you the mechanism we used. So pop up here. Uh, keep going, and here we are. Pretty simple setup, really. Four observers. Uh, I've got the signal coming out with the comparator onto the repeater, then going over and powering the lights. A couple of uh, slime blocks with a sticky piston and the daylight sensor up there. Daylight sensor activates the redstone on top of these blocks, activates that, pushes that observer down, and on daytime it retracts the observer up one, stopping the signal. And at night time again, it just pushes it back down again, activating the redstone circuit, setting the lights in motion again. And that's basically all there is to it. Uh, I would have preferred a slower moving one, 
But this the only slower moving one that I could come up with at the time was quite a bit bigger than this, quite a little bit wider. And I didn't really want the work the um, lighthouse being too wide. So we've stuck with this one for now. I'll, I'll look at it and see if we can tweak it to make it a little bit slower. Because at the moment I can that's as slow as I can get it on the uh, third tick, is it? I think it is. Uh, yeah, third tick. Any slow and it just messes up the whole thing then because of the speed of the observers. So that's basically it. So I'll pop back down here. Jump off. You stripped out for the floors. I think overall it looks quite nice. I should now get rid of those torches though. And so you pop through here. Not sure what I'm going to decorate it within here yet. But we'll make it a bit homely. No idea who we're going to put in it though. Obviously, most of these houses have somebody in it. So I'm going to find someone to put in here. Any suggestions as to which village you should live, live in it? Please leave a comment down below and I will get on it and get them in there. Right. Hope you enjoyed the video. And that's it from me for now. And hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.